The scars and pain will forever live with Trinisa Grimmon, who lost her unborn child to what she calls negligence on the part of her doctor. To make matters worse, she said that her dead unborn child was left in her for a day, even though the doctor knew fully well that the baby was dead. Grimmon was a patient of Dr. Gordon Roberts at the St. Joseph's Mercy Hospital. She said she made repeated pleas to the nurses for help as she felt the head of the dead baby on its way out. My head was there and I couldn't control the, con the contraction. So I started pushing and pushing and pushing and the baby head started coming out. And then they came and saw it and they decided to me, told me that when the pain eased, I must come to the labor room. And I was like yelling, this pain got eased for ease, this pain got eased for ease. And I decided that I can just walk to this labor room and I come out of my bed and went. And the nurses, when I went on the, the bed in the labor room, I push and push on the, the head almost like literally kick coming out of me. So when they saw that this, when they called the doctor right there to come and he said like in five minutes he's coming. So I begged the nurse to help me take out the baby, help me. And she was like delaying, looking for gloves and stuff, like saying that um, she got to wait on doctor and stuff. She didn't help me take out the baby. So I pushed and pushed and pushed. So by the time doctor come, the head was almost out of me. And he pulled out the baby. He slid me right down because the shoulder was stuck. And he slid me down. And he pulled out the baby. When he pulled out the baby, he told me that my baby card was wrapped around the neck. And I was conscious. I didn't see any card. I didn't even see he, him unwrapped in any card. So I just looked at him like, he looking for an excuse because he already told me something in the ultrasound and he dropped that baby on my stomach and I was just crying all the time to know that my little angel was gone just like that it was taken from me it was the woman's firstborn and she was attending Dr. Roberts private clinic in Albert and Crown Street Queenstown Grimond said her baby was full nine months and she was expected to give birth on the 22nd of July but she never went into labor at that time. The woman alleges that the doctor told her that he would have induced labor on the 26th of July which was her last clinic day. She was advised to check in at the hospital. The doctor said to me that he's going to see me on that afternoon which he did not. I saw him the following morning but he was instructing the nurse what to do with me and to keep an eye on me. However, late that night, they gave me an injection to put me to sleep because I was feeling pain, but I wasn't going into labor. He came the following morning, which was the 27th, and he said to me, like in a conversation that um, he heard I was sleeping all night and stuff, so, he decided now he just gaffing and he inserted half of the pill he inserted the day before. Telling me that he's gonna see me about five o'clock the afternoon, which he did. He came back that afternoon around five. And he said to me, Trinessa, I don't know why you're rejecting this pill. I don't know why your body is rejecting this pill. Cause you should have already been into labor. And he inserted half more and he said to me that by 9 o'clock, if I don't go into labor, he's going to do a CS. Things then took a turn for the worse. He ordered an ultrasound. So they took me down in a wheelchair to the ultrasound room to do an ultrasound. And when they were doing the ultrasound, he said to me, he showed me the screen, he said to me, Trinessa, the baby, yeah, it's done, the baby is not in a bridge. And he moving, moving, going up to the heartbeat. There was no movements. The heart wasn't beating. He said to me that he's sorry. There's a dead baby, the baby's dead, no movement. And he's 
very sorry for that. He checked in to see what was the cause of the death. He said to me, there was little fluid there and my walls was lying on the baby. So the baby suffocated, the baby couldn't have breathed or do anything, move or anything, so, so the baby suffocated. He checked there was no card around the baby neck. He took me back, they took me back up to my room and he then said to me he's going to see me in the morning. Grimond has reported the matter to the medical council since she feels that answers from the doctors are not forthcoming. She said she trusted the doctor with her life only to endure this pain for the ordeal. And he didn't even give me an option. I think if he had think or act faster, he could have done a CS or induced labor with the drips in the first place. He waited until my baby was dead to induce labor with drips and make me feel so much pain to push out a dead baby. On a visit to Dr. Roberts' clinic to get a response to the story, the doctor, while welcoming us, said unfortunately he could not discuss anything about any patient with us unless the patient is physically present.